What's up guys and girls, it's me and Quan. Peace and blessings to all out there. Hope you guys are well. Now, welcome to this video review. Two weeks ago, I unboxed this, the Lenovo Vibe Shot, and it's given me the perfect chance and opportunity to get to grips with its functions and features. So to begin with, we're going to take a look at the hardware. So the Lenovo Vibe Shot has very nice hardware generally, and you've got clean, clear edges, you've got designated buttons for the camera function and we're going to take a, a closer look into those later on but the construction is made out of aluminium and it has at the back an impressive 16 megapixel autofocus with a true sensor tricolor flash and it's also got a front facing 8 megapixel which is a fixed focus camera now it's got a corning gorilla glass 3 so that's ideal for protection now in terms of software, this runs, this particular model runs Android 5.1 Lollipop. So it's great, it means it's up to date and coupled with the processor speed, which is a 64-bit Qualcomm Snapdragon, which is clocked in at 1.7 gigahertz, giving you an octo core processor, it's amazingly fast and fluid. Coupled with uh, Google's material design, it's actually a really pleasant experience. And I was very surprised that this particular model didn't come with very much bloatware so it meant that you know it was close to uh, or reasonably close to a stock android experience another thing to mention was that display colors are very very vivid on that five inch full hd ips display that clocks in at 1920 by 1080. now let's talk about that killer function feature on this smartphone which is that camera so you have a designated toggle button that allows you to choose between auto mode and professional mode and within the camera app, there are really uh, an amazing array of options that you can use to refine um, both the camera and the video options. So this is pre-production and also post-production as well with the editing tools. And um, to give you an example, you know, you've got uh, uh, finer options to do with the ISO, to do with uh, the color balance, to do with, you know, other information uh, that can give you the best shot possible. And I found this to actually be the case both in auto and in professional mode. Here's an example of me taking an image just pre-sunset on my balcony. You can see that I've got a whole range of different uh, options that I can choose from to give me the best shot. Now, one of the things I did find about the camera was the zoom. Uh, the zoom was a little jagged uh, in my experience. It was a little laggy, but you know, nothing really to complain seriously about. But the finished products, the finished images, as you can see here, the attention to detail, the, the, the quality overall was very, very impressive, considering this was taken in reasonably low light as well. It also has a front facing eight megapixel fixed focus camera, which is gonna be ideal for selfies. And you've got the option to edit yourself uh, perfect for Instagram or whatever else you wanna upload that to. One last thing, it doesn't record, however, in 4K video. But to summarize, this is a very impressive phone. If you're looking for a camera-centric phone, uh, which combines the best of Android and very good, well-built hardware, then it's definitely worth considering the Lenovo Vibe Shot, and it comes in at a great price too. That's it from me for now. I will see you in the next video. Do check out more of the videos on the channel. I'm Mkwa. Peace and blessings.